Hi, this is Asain. Today I would like to share how to create progress ball using Flash Balls. First, we go to Developer tab, then we click on Visual Basic, then Insert User Form. If let's say we want to change the name, we can change under Properties Window. Okay, change under Caption. Maybe we can change to Please Wait. Okay, and then we have to ensure that under the Show Model here must be False. Otherwise, the micro will stop running until this form is closed. Okay, the two box. Okay, then we insert the text box. Okay, if let's say I want to show the percentage of work completed in the multiple of 10 only, means at 10%, 20%, 30%, and so on. So I what I need is only 10, 10 text box okay so i need only 10 text boxes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay if let's say i also want to show the progress in words then i can add label all over here Okay, make sure the label is long enough. Okay, then we can change the font and the font size. Okay, we can maybe we can write in her rest. Okay, I will copy and paste so that I will have same formatting. Okay, for this one, delete the caption. Okay, so that we can ask the VBA to write. The percentage completed here now we can start to write the code already okay if let's say i want to insert code in this command button now I, I will double click on this but before that we have to bear in mind that we must close this user form before we call this one okay so we must close the user form first to close then we type unload user form one okay we close this user form, then we call this user form. Okay, then user form 5 dot show. Okay, if let's say the progress is depend on this work. Okay, depends on this work. If I have a total of A, so means that the work completed will be I over A times 100%. Okay, so I must insert the code before the next I. Okay, if let's say I want to use a text box with random variable, then I can do something like this. Okay, for k equal to 1 to 10, since I have only 10 text boxes. Okay, then we type user form 5 dot controls. Okay, if let's say we want to use with random variable k, then we have to use controls. Okay, then we type text box. Okay, make sure the T and P are capital letters. It's a must. Okay, then N K dot back color. Okay, equal to, if let's say we want to turn the text box, okay, this back color is to turn the color of the text box. If let's say we want to turn the color of the text box to green, then we can type VB green. If let's say we want red, then we can type VB red. If let's say we want blue, then we can type VB blue. Okay. Then if let's say we want to show the percentage in work in words, then we can type user form five dot label two. Okay. Since this is label two, okay, as you can see here, label two dot caption. If let's say we want to change the wording, then dot caption equal to okay the percentage completed will be i over a times 100 percent i over a times 100 percent 
So percentage completed. Okay, we start from okay from k equal to one, then the next one, next k. Okay, if let's say we want the percentage in whole number only instead of in decimal places, then what we can do is we have to call the worksheet function. Okay, maybe we introduce another unknown C. Okay, then we type application dot worksheet function. Okay, then dot round down. I will use round down here. Miss okay, round down i over a times hundred. Okay, since I want only whole number, so will be zero decimal places. Okay, then this one change to C. Okay, if let's say we use a fixed number here, so means that every time when the work or when the VBA is running, okay, all the text boxes will turn to green color. Okay, to overcome this, then we have to use a random variable, but we cannot use C because C is from 1% to 100%. Okay, so we have to use other. Okay, then we call the function. Okay, t equal to the function. Then we change this one to c over 10. Okay, so means that when c is equal to 10%, 10% completed, so c over 10 will be 1. So the first text box will turn to green. If let's say c is 20%, so 20% over 10 will be 2. So the Second text box will turn to green and so on. That because C start from one to hundred, we cannot start from one to when we want to turn the text box. So what we have to do will be we we'll use a condition here. If C is more than or equal to ten, then only we consider to turn the text box to green. Okay, then start with if, and we end with if. After everything is completed, then we can close the user form. Then we type unload user form 5. Okay, now we can try and say, okay, maybe we can try 10,000 and 1,000. Okay, as you can see here, Nothing just now, okay? This is because maybe the workload is too heavy here, and then Excel forgot to do this for us. So, what we can do is we write a code to force the Excel to do this for us, okay? We type two events here to force the Excel to do this for us, okay? Try one more time. So, 10,000 and 1,000, okay? So, as you can see. Okay, it's running. Okay, if let's say we don't want green color, okay, if let's say we want purple color or orange color, okay, we cannot write purple and orange over here because SL does not recognize this. So, what we can do here is we use the RGB, okay red green blue combination okay we know that the purple color is a result of the combination of red and blue okay so maybe we can use 200 and then green again okay, will be zero because not involved in the combination and then the blue maybe we can type 250 okay then we see the result and see Okay, okay, make it shorter, maybe 8,000 and then 1,000. Okay, as you can see, it turned to purple color. If let's say we want orange, okay, orange will be the combination of red and 
yellow but we don't have yellow here so we have to make use of green okay maybe we type 2000, 250 and maybe this one 80 okay we can try an arrow this one will be zero because blue is not involved in the combination so we try and see 5000 a okay, 1000 okay turn to orange already okay that's all for today hope you like this thanks for watching see you